<laughs> all right, so we're eating, grinding, camping, like everything all in one. This is awesome. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Revelos. My name is Francis and I like making videos and sharing my experiences. If you're new to this channel, you'll find everything about my labors, loves, and life. Today we're headed to the Rocky Mountain House National Historic Site to do some filming, getting our pictures taken, and also just spending the weekend with family. This video that I'm making right now is worthy of two spots in two playlists on The Revelos YouTube channel because we're gonna be doing some work and we're gonna also be having some fun. I love camping, so this is gonna be a treat. So basically how all this came about is that I work for Tourism Red Deer and my mandate is to film different locations of members that we wanna showcase in like our promo. So I had originally made plans to go film the Rocky Mountain National Historic Site but it's a bit of ways away from Red Deer. So I did a little bit of research. I checked out what was gonna be here and I realized that there's a campground. So I decided to make a weekend out of it. Fortunately for me, where I work here, they allow me to bring my family with me occasionally. So this is one of those times. So come check out the Rocky Mountain National Historic Site with us and let's go. So straight away, we make our way to the Rocky Mountain National Historic Site early in the morning, check in, get set up, and get grinding. They get some photos of us setting up, and then our friends Rod and Lisa make lunch. All right, so we're eating, grinding, camping, like everything all in one, this is awesome. We're staying at the trailer campground part of this park, and it's unserviced and can hold up to 27 foot trailers. This site is a federal Parks Canada campsite. All right, so we just had lunch and we're on our way now to go shoot some more stuff. We're taking pictures with Parks Canada for the Rocky Mountain Historic Site and yeah. So not only does the historic site offer a trailer campground and walk-in tenting, they are more well known for their heritage camping. More on that shortly. So we start our shoot off at the Centennial Canoe. So to honor Canada's 100th birthday in 1967, there was an epic 5,000 kilometer race. This was the actual canoe paddled by Team Alberta. So we follow one of the trails through a fur trade fort archeological site, where we end up at some of the heritage camping teepees. And yeah, you can spend the night in one of these. And if you make your way further down, you can stay in the Métis Trapper Tents. All you gotta do is bring some clothing, food, and beddings. And all these amenities are actually just a walking distance from the North Saskatchewan River. We've been up since early in the morning and the squad's getting a bit tired, so we're gonna go back to the site just for a quick rest. This is still day one. We just had our quick rest and we are now at the visitor center. In this area, you'll find a lot of information about David Thompson and how Hudson's Bay had fur trades along the North Saskatchewan River. You'll also find a lot about the archaeological remains of the four trading posts and the lands used by the indigenous peoples for time immemorial. Mm -hmm. 
There's even a cool blacksmith station. Unfortunately, there were some fire bans going on at the time, so they couldn't run the kiln or wood stoves. So this was a Métis camp and there was a lot of fur trade involved. We even got to see a replica York boat and what's crazy is they spent three months on these boats trying to get their stuff to England. And of course we definitely had to check out one of the newer attractions, the Play Fort. We all definitely quite enjoyed being in the play fort, but it was starting to come towards the end of our day. So yeah, we headed back to the site. Rod and his live. <laughs> Fire, yeah. Huh? Careful, yeah, it's hot. Just as we got back to the site, we were fortunate to find out that the fire ban had been lifted. Hi, how are you? Cake. Be yourself. Cake. Go show mama. It still shows right side up. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we just climbed up the hill with these bikes. Nicole over there, she's tired too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <gasps> that was rough. They have this thing called the bison paddock and you can see bison there. Good morning, Aisha. Alright, so I just finished getting my last shots at the blacksmithing station right behind me over there. And uh, yeah, fortunately we had a family kind of come up and uh, an elderly family come up and uh, 
want to find out some information about blacksmithing and using the coals from the river and yeah, it's pretty cool stories so I got some good footage there now I'm headed back to the campground I'm gonna spend some time with my family so we just got back from town Nash picked up a couple items at the dollar store and Naisha is fast asleep so we quickly have lunch and relax a little bit then we set off and explore on our bikes. I love this Bell Shell Mini. I think because of it, Naisha is able to really enjoy being in the front of the bike. It's really beautiful land out here. We also heard that this is the only Parks Canada site with an active gas plant. The story of how the land became protected is very interesting. It's crazy how close everything actually is and how it's connected with biking, walking trails. But if you need to get your vehicle to the other side of the site, you have to drive pretty far out. And there always is a chance to see bison. They roam around the park and they're at certain parts of the park during certain times of the day. Uh, this one is, I think they're still sleeping. Wow! Alright, this is our last morning here guys and we're just having breakfast and we're getting ready to go. It's been fun. Uh, we learned a lot and uh, I'm glad Rod and Lisa and their family came out and yeah, we're just gonna slowly make our way back to Lacombe and this was our trip to the Rocky Mountain National Historic Site. If you guys liked that video, go ahead and hit that like button and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button then that bell icon for more notifications from The Revelos. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. It's Hi guys. Turn it around. Turn it around. Hi guys. No. This is my beautiful way. <laughs> We're in river stock now. Can you see yourself? Hi yeah. guys. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's Gabby here. Yeah. So then we took me. And you know man. Napak ng ganda ng view namin. Once in a lifetime lang to. He wants a yeah. This is our I'm travel getting... buddy here. <laughs> Naisha and Francis. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Naisha. <laughs> hi. Say bye bye. Hi, Gabby. Not, no, not, not Say bye bye. Taking pictures. Bye bye. <laughs> carry her. Hurry up, carry her. Oh, Gabby. Napakalikot naman eh. All of them are. Likot <laughs> to. Ah, nakpa more. Oh